Shalom and Shirala, first and foremost, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shimei and Shai. That will honor the apostles and elders of great most and peace to you, brothers, uh, that are doing this work sincerely and, and in truth. Now, uh, you know, I just want to um, bring out a few uh, scriptures, um, you know, that talks about, uh, you know, how uh, Jake has to be in order, man, because, uh, you know, Israel is, uh, dis Israel is, uh, you know, I'm a disobedient man, you know. And the scriptures talks about that, you know, and that, you know, in these last days, you're going to have people that are going to be disobedient and they want to do their own thing, man. You know, they don't want to follow, you know, the orders that the Lord Jehovah has set forth. Now, um, before, you know, I grab that, I just want to bring this out real quickly because this proves that, you know, um, Israel is, uh, you know, I'm a... Israel is, you know, I'm a hard-headed man. Now this is Romans chapter, chapter, um, chapter ten, verse twenty-one. But to Israel he said, "All the day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people." That's right, man. You know, that's our people. You know, they're disobedient and gainsaying, man. You know, they don't want to follow orders, man. Okay. Now the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you know. He set out orders, you know, and they need to be followed. Otherwise, you're going against him, man. And if you can't follow the orders of the Lord, you know, uh, then, you know, you're going against him, you know, and then therefore the Lord is, is going to destroy you eventually, man. Okay. But, uh, you know, just going into the scriptures, you know, about the apostles, you know, being our masters in the flesh, you know, we know that the ultimate, you know, I'm a master, you know, is Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, but we also have masters here, you know, in the flesh, you know, that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai set forth, you know, for an example for us, man, and that's the apostles of Great Millstone, and you have people, you know, that don't want to, you know, I'm a, you know, and, uh, you know, you have people, you know, that don't want to follow these orders that the Lord set up, man. Now, this is the book of... Of, uh, Ephesians chapter 5 uh, verse uh, so like it. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 5 servants be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh now it just stated man according to the flesh so you're gonna have masters according to the flesh now that's the apostles and else of great Muslim that the Lord set up you know for an example for us man you know it's the same thing that Paul said, man, you know, be followers of me, you know, as even I am of Yahweh Shai, man. You know, so we're supposed to follow, you know, um, these masters according to the flesh, you know, because, you know, um, evidently, you know, we are serving, you know, Yahweh Shai, Shai, you know, I'm a through serving these masters, man. Okay, now it says what? Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh. That shows order. That shows order. And, we, and when you're not... And when you're not obedient, you know, to these masters according to the flesh, that shows that you're not following the orders of the Lord, man. Okay? And he said, with fear and trembling in singleness of your heart as unto Yahweh Shai. As unto Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? So that's the order right there, man, that the Lord set up. You know? Now, let me just uh, bring out uh, one more um, scripture, you know, that basically um, it gives you an example you know, of you, uh, you know, I'm a following uh, orders, man. Okay, this is um, this is a rock, chapter 32. I'll start from uh, eight. Let thy speech be short, com comprehending much in words. Be as one that knoweth and yet holdeth his tongue. If thou be among great men, make not thyself equal with them. Okay, now this is an example, man. You know, of you being in order. Now. Now, you know, now, you know, um, in, in this case, you know, those great men are the apostles of great millstone, man. It says, make not yourself equal with them, man, you know, because the Lord, he has orders, man. Again, orders, you know, that there's people, you know, that are, you know, that are in higher ranks than others. Okay. But it says, if thou be among great men, make not thyself equal with them. And when the ancient men are in place, use not many words. Before the thunder goeth lightning, and before a shamefaced man shall go favor. That shows order, man. You know, before one thing happens, you know, another, you know, has already happened, man. Okay? It says, rise up betimes, and be not uh, the last, but get thee home without a, 
um, with, without delay. Verse 14, whoso feareth the Lord will receive his discipline. And that's what these guys don't receive, man, is the discipline because they don't fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. You know, you know, you know, these guys, you know, they don't follow the orders that the Lord set up, you know. But it says, whoso feareth the Lord will receive his discipline. And they shall select it. And they that seek him early shall find favor. He that seeketh the law shall be filled therewith. But the hypocrite will be offended thereat. And that's what these guys are, man. They're offended, you know, by us saying that you have to be obedient, you know, to the apostles of the of um of a GMS, man. You know, they're offended at that, man. Okay. But it says uh verse 17: a sinful man will not be reproved but findeth an excuse according to his will a man of counsel will be considerate but a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear even when of himself he had done without counsel and that's what these guys are man you know they don't you know eventually you know these guys you know they don't fear Yahweh and eventually the Lord is going to destroy them man you know because the Lord he deals with order it says that a false balance is, is an abomination to the Lord man and when you don't follow you know Yahweh is uh you know I'm uh you know I'm uh and when you don't follow the and when you don't follow the Lord's orders, you know, you become an abomination to him, man. Okay. Now this is um this is second second Timothy chapter three. Or let me get this uh Titus one and ten. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, man. Okay, especially they have their circumcision. So you have a lot of, you know, Jakes, you know, that claim to be in this truth that are vain, you know, and unruly talkers, man. Okay, verse 11, whose mouth must, whose mouth must be stopped, who subverb whole houses teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Okay, um, and now verse 16, it says, they profess that they know the Lord Yahweh by Hashim Yahushai, but in works they deny him. You know, what are one of the works? Is being obedient to the man, you know, that the Lord, you know, has set up, you know, according to the flesh, you know, who are your masters, you know? That's one of the works. But you know, but but it says that, you know, in works they deny the Lord Yahweh by Hashim Yahushai. Okay? And it says, being abominable and disobedient. And unto every good work reprobates. Okay? That's what, you know, these niggas are, man. They're reprobates, man. You know? They're reprobates and they don't, you know, follow what the Lord, you know, I'm going to tell them to do, man. Now, this is Second uh, Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 2. It says, For men shall be lovers of their own selves. That's being proud, man. You know? It says, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. You know, these guys, you know, they learned 